All right, it's uh, Saturday morning. I'm out here at the pea field. This is 15 acres of field peas that we uh, I drilled this spring. This ground is marginal-ish. There's some good spots in it, but um, it was a hay field prior. I swathed this yesterday, and I'm going. It's going to dry out today because there's quite a few. Um, grasses in here weeds so the beans are ready or the peas are ready i mean they probably should have been swathed maybe a week five days ago but um well stuff happens i didn't quite get to it this is an experiment you can see how wide this windrow is here it's probably six feet wide and two and a half feet tall initially the um and this is what's left you know, I, I cut about eight inches off the ground, so there's no peas. You know, I went down low enough to where I wasn't missing any pods. I tried to capture every bit I could. So you've got a mowed lawn in between here, and then these windrows that'll come along tomorrow is the plan. After these have dried down, these weeds, I'll come along tomorrow with the pickup head on the combine and combine the peas. The idea is to give the combine a better chance of processing and filtering out all this green material it's not so bad right here but as you get further up well it worked in wheat last year when i had a lot of lambs quarter in my wheat and wind rowing it uh, swathing it and wind rowing it and let it dry for a couple days really worked well so i'm hoping the same thing should hold true for this these weeds are actually a little bit less than um at least what it looks like in the windrow, like here. So it's, um, the material in here originally was probably, the peas, were, the weeds are probably three feet tall. And my swather is 25 foot wide. We'll see how it goes. I mean, it would be great if I could grow peas. If I can do it successfully on this 15 acres, the idea is I'll start to work it into um, some more acres. Nice day. I was supposed to be 90 today. Oh, and then after uh, the peas are combined, we'll probably disc this down, and I'm thinking I'll put a tillage radish or, you know, some kind of cover. I'll put that or purple top turnip, rather, in here just to try to build up some organic matter, maybe a few other things in a cover crop, just like I did down there on the failed corn on that 27 acres. All right, well, thanks for watching. There's my neighbor's house. My house is just on the other side of them. Oh, and the beans look really good out there. You can kind of see them in the distance. Those are the cleanest beans I've ever grown. I hope they uh, actually turn out. they got every chance of being successful, of being good. So fingers crossed it turns out well. Talk to you soon. Bye.